Yes, you love it. Oh, you like the camera. It's beautiful. So we're out here planting some um, trees and things, replenishing the ones that fall down or are no longer any good, they're no longer alive, doing a bit of a clean up to help parents and um, it's beautiful. Alright, I don't want to dox anyone, but I have a package here that I am going to send off today. So we will have to find out how long it takes to get to that certain somebody. So um, it's on its way. It has a lot of tape on it. <laughs> of this vlog which I haven't been vlogging in a little while and I know I've been slack so I apologize um, I'm gonna show you I am actually crocheting with this wool really nice stuff um, I really like this Ooh, so probably looks a little bit funny at the moment but this is actually going to be a little good and it will have a cow attached to the bottom of it. So what a cow is, it's like a circular scarf, but it's more snug around the neck instead of being loose like an infinity scarf. And so this is called a hooded cow. Um, I'm going to be creating this and putting some little bear ears on top of it and a little tie at the front here. So this is gonna be for, um, Jazz's little boy, her baby, who is just over one now, that's flown. Um, and being winter here in Australia at the moment, it is quite cold. We have extremes. We have really cold, for us at least, and then really hot summers. So, oh, I will show you this. I'll show you this when it's um, finished, or maybe uh, when I get on to doing the cow part. So stay tuned. This is my view for the morning. Got a little bit of fog up there on the hills. A couple of kookaburra in that second tree there. And cover the sheepy friends. Good morning, sheepies. Hi, you um. See the brown one? His name is Nguyen.
so quiet. See the pellets? Come on! So we take them up, put them away for the day. Bertie thinks he's herding sheep. He's curly. You're a big one, Curly, aren't you? Let me just pull some little piles of pellets. Yeah. There they are. And the sheepies are away. Would you like to say good morning to all of the subscribers, Pookie? Yes, yes. Oh, he's showing Duchess away. Hello, Duchess. Hello, lovely. How are you, sweetie? She doesn't usually let me pat her. She will today. Just a stroke of the mane. Good girl. Yes, yes. Are you going to let me pat you? Of course you are. Yes, you would love it. Oh, you like the camera. I'm waiting for the kettle to boil. Can you see the kookaburra? Right next to the trunk of the tree in the middle of the screen. making horses breakfast probably can't see me very well but that is okay oh. was well, a good night slept fairly well Alfred likes to come in and wake me up for tickles a couple of times but that's okay he loves it when I'm here more used to me now. I think it's good for the kids being out here too because it kind of gives them a reset away from town, away from the worries of school, um, away from video games and things like that. Gives them a chance to be outdoors and relax and just not be distracted by everything else going on around them. Duchess is waiting impatiently, as she usually does. You ready for breakfast, my darling? She's very ready for breakfast, so I better get the water in. Stir up the, stir up the breakfast. Coming, my love. If I ever go quiet, you know, for a day or something, this is probably usually why. You know, taking care of 
horses. Maybe my parents have to go away and tend to something like they have this time. This time it's only a, a one night stay. It's nothing like too significant or anything, but you know, when the, um, the horses are requiring feed, especially in like winter, they usually just hang around the stalls here and don't go too far. And you know, they need something warm in their belly, something nutritious. Um, yeah, so that's what we're here for. Is this a miniature farm, my darling? You are very ready for breakfast, aren't you, my darling? Hey? You ready for breakfast? Yeah? I know you are, sweetie. It's coming. Horses eating. And just filling their water bucket. It's taking you for a little wander down here. You can see the horse is really turn up the soil. That's why I wear my boots, my hiking boots. A very small creek runs along here. Back in the day, many years ago, a lot of years ago now, in the summertime, we'd come down here. This is before they finished the stables. And um, there's a couple of horse feeders down here. It's where we'd put hay out for the day and things. Uh, now what happened there? So yeah. Small creek running through here. It's really nice to go walking up through this area. I mean, you're not going to walk up there. That hill is on an incline like that. <laughs> it's almost straight up and it's high. You could probably see that view from up at the house, but just along here you can go up through the creek and it's a really good walk. In the summertime you will get snakes and things here though. You really got to be careful in the summer. 